also part of the hiring process is the drug test. A lot of people ask if they they have drug tests often. Hey guys and welcome back to another Buddy World Wednesday. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Crystal. And I'm Raquel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every Wednesday. Alright guys, so we've done a couple Amazon videos in the past. Two, to be exact. Yeah, two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just two. And we're back with one more. The final one, yeah. though, guys. We've received a lot of questions, even though we talk about it. People still comment all the, like a bunch of questions. Most of them are already answered in the other two videos. You just have to go <laughs> back and watch those. So if we say something here that you guys don't know, go back, check the other two. We'll leave them linked down below. And if we can't answer, if we don't answer them there, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. All right, so this video is gonna be specifically on the sort center. So anything we say is specifically for the sort center. Well, I don't know about your fulfillment. I don't know about fresh. I don't know about anything, okay, guys? Like, people comment. You don't get paid 14. Uh uh. Like, we're telling you, we're not gonna lie about it. So. Yeah, to be honest, we work in the Bay, so obviously the pay is different here. We usually pay more just because living costs are more expensive yeah. here. So, let's get started. Uh -huh, this <laughs> That's it, I'm holding this for the rest of the no. freaking video. Nope, let's get started. Okay, number one, dress code. <laughs> you can wear... And you can go naked, Ashley. No. no, you can't go naked, but you can wear anything you guys want. Honestly, it's a warehouse if job. If you want to wear pajamas, go ahead. No one's gonna stop yeah. you. Guys. If you guys want to wear shorts, go ahead, wear shorts. If you want to wear sweats, wear sweats. If you want to dress up, wear a suit. <laughs> Don't recommend it, but you can. Yeah. Just anything that's comfortable. Comfortable shoes, highly recommend. You can't wear open toe shoes. That, they do say, don't wear sandals. Because, you know, there are boxes everywhere. They can fall, you can hurt your toes. <laughs> so just keep them covered. Just be aware that usually the warehouse floors are kind of slippery. So you want to wear something that's going to grip the floor rather than just like slip like Uggs mm -hmm. and stuff like that with like no grip. Bring a jacket. If it gets cold, just throw on a jacket. If it gets hot, take it off and you'll be fine. You are going to be moving a lot, so you definitely want to take that into consideration. It's kind of like a workout job. You're exercising a lot, which is good. But, hold on. People were like, what about for the hiring event? Guys, it's the same thing. The hiring event is not even all that fancy. I know. It's not fancy at all. The orientation is not fancy at all. You're just sitting in a room watching <clears throat> videos, guys. So. From the start, you can wear sweats, pajamas if you wanted, shorts. We wore sweats to our hiring event. It wasn't even that big of a deal. They were getting more strict about the whole hair above your shoulders. As long as you have your hair above your shoulders, you should be fine. I mean, don't go all out and wear like super mini like short shorts, you know? Obviously, someone's probably gonna yeah. call you out, but... Work appropriate. Common sense. So yeah, that's it for that. Next, we have the hiring process. We're gonna go into a little bit more detail about that. And Chris will take it away. Okay, <laughs> so guys, for everybody, I'm sure it's different. For us, the whole hiring process literally took max two weeks from applying to working. I actually took a little longer because I took a while to accept the offer because I didn't really know what it was about. But when Raquel knew, because I told her, she accepted mm -hmm. right away and she was in there like, in a week actually literally right? one week yeah because i started and the next week she was working with me yeah but we we were hired through an agency so it was kind of a different process rather yeah, than that's working directly through amazon so guys like it might be different for everybody like some people ask us like how long is it gonna take for them to get back to us to mm -hmm. me well honestly i don't know like yeah it depends it just depends on your site also part of the hiring process is the drug test all they do is they get a little stick thingy and they put it in your mouth and then it soaks up your saliva and that's it. You don't have to pee in a cup where we were. A lot of people ask if they they have drug tests often. Um, no, as far as we know, like in our facility, they only did it once and that was during your hiring process. And never again. Never again. <laughs> we were there for a year and a half mm -hmm. and we 
only had one. They tell you, they say you're not gonna get tested unless they suspect that you're drunk. Really? Yeah. So if they sense that you're under the influence of something, they will give you a drug test, but I don't think they'll go out of their way. Um, they don't have like monthly drug tests. Yeah, they like don't pop quiz like that. No, it's literally once. They don't have time for that, so. Yeah. All right guys, so one thing we did not talk about was lockers. At least for our warehouse, there are lockers there. And so the way that works is if there's a locker that's open, you just gotta look at the number go tell HR about that locker that's open and they will assign it to you give you a locker with your combination and you just go flip that locker in on the locker flip the lock on the locker <laughs> and it's yours guys as long as they're open anybody should be able to get one even seasonal employees so they assign your locker with your um, login ID so they know whose locker is whose and they assign you the lock too so they know the combination so if they need to get in, they can. I'm getting like confused about lock, lockers, know, lock, lockers. Exactly. And every once in a while, they kind of do go through and make sure that there's no locks on lockers yeah. that shouldn't have locks. They do a whole locker audit. Yeah, whatever. but they don't like inspect your locker unless you know they have suspicion of something. Or you can keep your keys your phone, your wallet, your vest, your vest, like at the end of the day if you want to leave your vest there you can, your gloves, anything else you need, water, you know we didn't want to spend every night like at the break room so we would bring snacks every so often. In the break room they do have a little avenue C, mm -hmm. what they call it, where they have a bunch of snacks. I mean, most of the time they're sold out. But... Tying that in with your phone. Yeah, so your phone, you can't keep it in your locker because mm -hmm. technically you're not allowed to have it on the floor. You can leave it in your locker and use it during your break. But after that, you know, just put it back in your locker or in your pocket if you don't have a locker or leave it in your car, but. This one does depend on the facility itself. Yeah, like how like, strict they are. Yeah, some let you have it in your pocket as long as you don't take it out on the floor. Um, some people don't let it let you bring it in into the facility itself, so you have to leave it in your car. Some people have lockers. So honestly, this one also is one of those like it depends. But in general, where we were you could have it with you as long as you're not like texting while you're working like that was a no all right <laughs> one of my favorite parts of this job <laughs> the bathroom breaks um <laughs> this job is kind of hard on your feet not gonna lie so bathroom breaks people love bathroom breaks because that means you get to go sit down and rest on the toilet where we were <laughs> they are allowed by law like you're allowed to go to the bathroom but obviously you're not supposed to abuse that privilege they call it a privilege not a right <laughs> so really? uh, yeah Is to the bathroom a right to be able to use the bathroom? i don't know you kind of want to use that like maybe an hour after break or an hour before break you never want to do it right before because you have pas and other leadership like watching you and they do check bathrooms to see if people are just chilling on their phones. Otherwise known as time fraud. Obviously guys are not gonna, guy leaders are not gonna go to girls bathrooms. They have like women go into the women's bathroom and men go into the men's bathroom just to check. All right, so the last thing we're gonna talk about, people had a lot of questions. This is yeah. the, the most popular question of all. The top one. Yeah. How long will it take for them to reply to me like? You know, everybody had a specific like situation going on. And honestly guys, the answer to that question is, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not up to us, you know, like that's up to your facility, up to your local HR, how long they take. But Where we work, HR was pretty slow. Like you did not go there unless you had an emergency. So if your HR is like cool and they're fast and they know they're like on their game, you know, like then they will get back to you pretty fast. As for us guys, like I once went in trying to change my schedule and I was just on the wait list for the longest time until like they, the whole shift choice came along. And I had friends who were on that wait list for like six months. This is a job where it's like, it varies depending on where you live or where you're located. That's one of the main things that we can't really pinpoint. Like we can't tell you, oh, they're gonna take two weeks or they're gonna take, you know, a month. 
I understand, you know, like everybody was asking us because, mm -hmm. you know, you get frustrated, you want an answer right away, but yeah. <laughs> we wish we could help you guys. Like, honestly, we wish you could help. That's why we're making these videos because we want to help you guys as much as we can, but there's only so much that we can, like, provide for you guys in terms of information. So that's just something that we can't tell you exactly. I feel like half of this video has just been like, I don't know. Depends. I have no idea. <laughs> but anyways, with what we could answer, we hope... Otra <laughs> vez. We hope it was helpful and honestly don't even be nervous like hands down you guys Easiest job out there. Easiest <laughs> job you can get. We still recommend it for those of you guys who are interested and want to try it out By by all means go ahead apply. Um, don't be scared at all to go to the hiring events or yeah, anything like, like that It's like super chill for Amazon <laughs> Don't even worry about it. And now with the shift choice option like you can pick your own shift whenever you want, whenever you can, whatever works better for you. And you plug it into the computer. It's this program on the hub that you can like request a specific shift change and if they have it available, they can give it to you. So it's getting more and more flexible and more and more tailored to you, which is such a cool thing about Amazon. Let us know what you what was helpful for you guys. What you know if this was helpful at all and give and this video a helpful. thumbs up yeah give it a thumbs up that's all we got for you guys for this funny world wednesday and if you wanted to see more of us <laughs> then just subscribe join the family and we hope to see you next week for another funny world wednesday okay bye Hey, si me dolió cuando me pegaste. <laughs> It sounded pretty loud. It's like, oh my god.